Well, next up, opening the game for all potential players, England Football have launched a free online course aimed at helping grassroots clubs become more confident coaching disabled footballers. It comes after research found that many coaches in the region don't feel they have enough training or knowledge. Well, one club that takes inclusion very seriously is Histon Hornets in Cambridgeshire, and Claire McGlasson is there for us this evening. Good evening, Claire, and uh, it's the children's team training tonight. Yes, the All-Stars in full flow behind me practising their penalties. They've only been training together for two months now, uh, but they come on the back of two years of success of the adult team. They've won four trophies this season alone, really leading the way and setting the example for this drive for inclusion in football, as Catherine Walker reports. Alessio has always loved football and plays for Histon Hornets in Cambridgeshire. He says his club is very welcoming, but in the past, some people have assumed he can't play because of his disability. I've always been a fan of football, but growing up with uh, cerebral palsy and a visual impairment, there weren't many like actual teams or training sessions available. So the most actual playing I did was just in the back garden with uh, my brothers, which was a lot of fun, but obviously not with similar people like me. Hoping to break down some of the barriers that disabled footballers face, England Football have launched a new coaching session. The course, which is online, is free for all coaches over the age of 16 and only takes 60 minutes to complete. We have a lot of coaches in mainstream football that have no experience of disability football. So what this will give is information and help and support to be able to understand some of the disabilities that they may encounter in club. So when you come here, yeah, want to lay it off down there. So far, nearly three and a half thousand coaches across the country have enrolled on the course, and many more are keen to take part, including Steph, who's neurodivergent. So why are you interested in taking the course? I'm interested in learning about it because um, even though you may have some knowledge, it's always good to develop and refresh your knowledge because things change, more ideas come out of how uh, people cope with things and what they find best helps them. Para footballer Matt Crossan, who plays for England's cerebral palsy team, hopes this course will get more disabled players off the sidelines. I just hope and pray that people see it and, you know, there's the, just one word of mouth and then we get one. It, it, it spreads like wildfire for people and we can hopefully get people involved. With Football England research showing that knowledge and confidence are often the biggest barriers to inclusion, coaches across the region are being encouraged to take this course and help give everyone the chance to be a winner. Catherine Walker, ITV News. Well, let's go back to Claire. And uh, you've got the experts there, Claire. What, what can clubs do to open up the game? Well, the key is not just in the coaching, it's about being more welcoming as a club. But as, as you say, I've got an expert here, Zoe Harvey, who's head of inclusion for uh, Histon Hornets. And Zoe, personal experience as well as a player and as a coach. Uh, so what is it that you're hoping clubs will take from this training? Yeah, so I am registered and um, visually impaired myself, so I used to be a player and a coach. So from the training, we want clubs to be more inclusive and more welcoming to the wider community. And this can be the way they communicate to disabled people. This can be through their logos. This can be through how they advertise and how they reach people and it's quite a broad umbrella we're talking about inclusion what sort of impairments are we talking about so inclusion for us covers things like um, people that are deaf visually impaired might have cerebral palsy but it also covers SEN autism ADHD and also well-being as well so if you have a mental health condition or anything that you struggle to access mainstream football and specifically just briefly for the coaching uh, how might the coaching differ or what is it that you're looking for clubs to sort of embrace think about how accessible you can make your sessions think about communicating with people of how they can get there how they can find you and utilizing different equipment and, and briefly just it's social as well yeah i mean our team absolutely have a ball both on and off the pitch so it's all about getting everyone together and just having a good time well, thank you for having us here this evening. We've been brave standing by, right by the goal and, and touch wood, we haven't been here yet. Um, but obviously this is grassroots. This is encouraging more people to come along to their local football club to see what's on offer. And the hope is that from there, with more people um, joining and taking part in inclusive football, that that will rise up through the ranks. There'll be more opportunities to compete, more tournaments, and then at a higher level in football. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Claire. It's like watching the England penalties all over again in the back. <laughs> let's not go back there again. Come on.